bevel tool is a really powerful tool. Now let me demonstrate what it is that you're describing. So we take this face and we control B to bevel. We expand it and we add a loop. So this gives us that loop on the isolated face and we can extrude it. And then we can go ahead and add another loop and we can bevel that and extrude it. But what you might notice is that this is somewhat cylindrical. So when we use the inset method and extrude, it conforms more to the shape of the object. So ultimately there is no right or wrong way to do this. It's more a case of understanding what tools you have available and using the one that will give you the desired result.